So let's look at the non-mevalonate pathway for biosynthesis of terpenes. In the previous video, we discussed the mevalonic acid pathway for the biosynthesis of terpenes. And there we established the fact that with the mevalonic acid pathway, three molecules of acetate are used. The acetate A used undergoes stepwise condensation to yield a mevalonic acid. The mevalonic acid then undergoes pyrophosphorylation, decarboxylation, and dehydration reaction continuously to yield IPP and DMAPP, which are the precursors for the biosynthesis of terpenes. Unlike the mevalonic acid pathway, the non mevalonic acid pathway or the MEP pathway, MEP so called because it produces MEP as intermediate. This pathway uses pyruvate and glass rhydide 3 phosphate. The two molecules undergo a condensation reaction followed by decarboxylation reaction to yield a deoxyxylose 5 phosphate. Here, there is loss of carbon dioxide, and the aldehyde carbon displaces the carboxylate group of the pyruvate, so that the bond will be initiated between the carbon atom carbon of the pyruvate and the aldehyde carbon of the other molecule. The deoxyxylose 5 phosphate, which is the, another molecule produced, undergoes an intramolecular rearrangement followed by a reduction reaction to produce MEP, which is the metal erythritol 4 phosphate. So from here that the pathway is named. Here there is a shift of this metal group to this carbon, followed by the reduction of the carbonyl to a hydroxy group. So here is the net compound. There is intramolecular rearrangement, moving of this metal group from this carbon to here, followed by reduction of this carbon to an alcohol. Then the net product is the MEP, the metal erythritol. The next reaction is the activation of the MEP. The activation in the activator which improves the reactivity of the MEP is CMP. And that CMP is generated from CTP. Cited and triphosphate, cited and triphosphate, a nucleotide. So the CMP, which comes from this, an enzyme that catalyzes reaction, releases phosphate, two phosphate group from the CTP, so that one will be left. At the end, you will get a nucleoside monophosphate. And that CMP will react to the terminal phosphate group to improve the reactivity of this MEP for the next reaction to produce. The resulting compound that is called CD, CDP metal erythritol. It is CDP because the CMP here is carrying one phosphate and there is already a phosphate group here. So we are having a cetidine diphosphate. A cetidine diphosphate group. It is an activator and it just comes in here to increase the reactivity of the MEP so that the next reaction can proceed. The CDP metal erythritol also undergoes a phosphorylation reaction, and that phosphate groups come from an ATP. An ATP loses one phosphate to this hydroxy. So one ATP you bonded to this hydroxy to produce a CDP metal erythritol 2 phosphate. So the CMP see already which activated the MEP the phosphate group is to see already but this phosphate will come from this ATP to produce CDP metal erythritol 2 phosphate the next reaction is the loss of the CMP as I said earlier this CMP just came from this side to activate this ring so that to, to improve the reactivity of this compound for the phosphate to be added so from here to here is the loss of the CMP and when this CMP leaves there is a phosphate cyclization so with the phosphate on the second carbon and this phosphate 
will undergo a cyclization when the CMP leaves to produce a metal erythritol 24 cyclic diphosphate. This product is formed when the CMP leaves the CDP metal erythritol 24 phosphate. The next reaction is that the phosphate on the second carbon will be trapped to the terminal phosphate to form a pyrophosphate or diphosphate at the end. So here, this phosphate will be moved from this side to this side. When that happens, there will be a vacancy here. And since this reaction are all catalyzed by enzymes, there's going to be another dehydration reaction here. So when this phosphate leaves to this side, there's going to be dehydration reaction so that there will be a vacancy on this carbon and a vacancy on this carbon too. So we have to initiate a double bond here. The next compound, the next intermediate formed is called hydroxymethyl 2 butanol diphosphate. Hydroxymethyl 2 butanol diphosphate. And this one is formed by the moving of the phosphate on the second carbon to the terminal phosphate. So here the phosphate here is still maintained, but just that it has been moved to the terminal to form a diphosphate at the end. And there is a follow-up dehydration reaction for the double bond to be initiated to form hydroxymethyl 2 butanol diphosphate. This hydroxymethyl also undergoes a reaction to yield the precursors for the biosynthesis of terpenes. That is the IPP and DMAPP. Depending on the need of the body, it, is, it will either produce IPP or DMAPP. To produce IPP, there is a dehydration reaction here. So this one will move, will move away, the hydroxy will move away, then this double bond will be moved to the vacancy form so that, so that the IPP will form at the terminal carbon. To form the DMAPP, there is also a dehydration reaction, but when the, the, the hydroxy group leaves, it will be replaced by a hydrogen, so that the double bond here will be maintained to form the DMAPP. So basically that's how the DMAPP and the IPP are produced from the hydroxy metal to butanol diphosphate. So the part of it again, the initial precursors pyruvate and glycerate 3 phosphate undergoes a decarboxylation and condensation reaction to yield a deoxyxylulose 5 phosphate. The deoxyxylulose 5 phosphate undergoes a reduction reaction followed by intramolecular rearrangement to produce the MEP. So this MEP is an intermediate along the non mevalonate pathway. That's why the pathway is also called the MEP pathway. The next reaction is the activation of the MEP by CMP and that CMP cetidine monophosphate comes from the cetidine triphosphate. So the CTP will lose a diphosphate and generate a cetidine monophosphate which will react with the MEP as a phosphate at the terminal carbon to produce a CDP metal erythritol. Next there is a phosphorylation from ATP to produce a CDP metal erythritol 2 phosphate. The next reaction is the loss of the CMP, cetidine monophosphate, and followed by the cyclization of this phosphate and this phosphate. So when the CMP moves away, this side and this side be cyclized to form a metal erythritol 2 4 cyclic diphosphate metal erythritol 24 cyclic diphosphate the next reaction is the pulling of this phosphate group to the terminal phosphate group so that we have a diphosphate at the end then the vacancy here there will be a further dehydration reaction here this OH will leave then a double bond will be formed here The net product is the hydroxymethyl 2 butanol diphosphate. 
So from the hydroxymethyl 2 butanol diphosphate, now the IPP or the DMAPP are produced. To produce the IPP, there is a decarbon dehydration reaction of the terminal hydroxy group. Then the double bond will be shifted to the terminal. Now the vacuum is created here. When this one leaves here, this one, this double bond will be moved towards the terminal carbon so that you form the IPP. To form the DNA PP, the double bond maintains, but there is a dehydration reaction followed by the replacement of hydrogen to form the DNA PP. These two, one act as nucleophile and one act as electrophile. This one acts as the electrophile and the IPP acts as the nucleophile. The two undergoes continuous nucleophilic electrophilic addition to produce the various steppings. It was discussed in the previous video, so please kindly go back and cross check. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe to Inno Captain's TV and be updated. Thank you.